Another episode of OnlyFans. We have a very special guest today. Mm -hmm. He's been on the Tonight Show, so yeah. I think maybe our first guest that's been on the Tonight Show, um, Monroe Martin. <laughs> Who? We had Thank Ian. You. Oh, Monroe Ian. We had Ian Lara. Sorry. Ian Lara. Yeah, that's what Sorry. I was thinking. And is that Mike Racine? Am I wrong? No, he's not. He did Conan. Okay, Conan. Okay. Sorry. Look, he did Conan. Trying to fucking take away. Oh. <laughs> you hear him? I no, no. You know what? Plug yourself. <laughs> yeah, I God plug damn yourself. I've been on shit. I got an IMDb. See. Do that. Tell him. Yeah. Tell Where that. can they find you, Monroe? Monroe Martin I I I on Instagram. That's it. That's all I'm really using now. <laughs> Monroe Mar Martini, right? Yeah. <laughs> I I I it means the third. <laughs> a friend of mine told me he was hosting a show once, and mm -hmm. he called you up as Monroe Martini. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was weird. <laughs> that was, that was weird. Why but do you bring like brag about your friends not knowing anything? <laughs> yeah, no, it was just weird. I was just like, whatever. They having fun. Whose name would be Mar Monroe Martini? Yeah. Like, who doesn't know Monroe Martin? Monroe you Martini. Dumb loser friend. Monroe Martini. <laughs> I, yeah. I wish Monroe I punched I him. I, I can't, man. <laughs> I can't. Why not? Uh, he's a big dude. He's probably going to knock him out. Can I ask you punch? about a story big dude. that you might not want to talk about? Uh, what you is it? should have probably asked that. Like. <laughs> what? I know, you're right. But, like, at the at the stand one night, did you have a thing with uh, somebody in the crowd? I always have things with people in the crowd. But like, one night, what are you no. talking about? I, don't want, I can't go in detail because, okay, okay, you know. Okay. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yes, yes. No, just, I, but I'm not proud of it, people. I no, just, I know, sometimes I know. I know. I just but fucking, I'm proud of you, and I think it's awesome. <laughs> oh, that I just sometimes people, sometimes audience members go too far. Yeah. And you're like, come on, now you're just being a dickhead. It's wild right now, though. Yeah. Like, people are out there just like having full-on conversations with this, us. Yes. And I'm like, this isn't Zoom. Like, when did we ever let them start talking? People back? came out of the house with a, a new level of fearlessness. Yeah. So and they think they're just as important. So they can go. They go everywhere and they go. I matter too. And it's like you don't. <laughs> you don't. I know. Yeah. There's some. This dog farted in my did face. He, he probably did. What hey, he's got fuck? cancer. Wait, let him. Let him fart, bro. So now the dog with <laughs> cancer, cancer card, can just bro. go around <laughs> farting the guest face. <laughs> yes, Karen. You know that dog fart. Can I tell you something? No, Karen, Karen and him just have the same uh, butthole, butthole uh, <laughs> can I, cleaning. Can I tell you God something? Damn. It might be his mouth. Like, God, his damn. tumor smells like rotten eggs. Mm. Like, That's what it smells like? Yep. Oh, okay. Damn, Like sulfur. Homie. Like, yeah. yeah. Make out him. Find out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, as, as you can see, though, and maybe he's performing. He's exactly. Maybe he's performing for the camera, but he is still eating. So. All right. We are gonna keep him alive. Since we are yeah. on the topic of him, start a Patreon. Uh, I wrote, I wrote a haiku about for, the dog's for death. Him. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, make him sit. Does he no commands or yeah, because you, he has a tumor, he doesn't have to listen no more. He probably doesn't have to listen. Anymore. I really. Ernest, sit, sit, boy. Oh, oh, sit. Does he, does he bark? I've he's never... about to bark. Yeah. I mean, he's like motherfucker. Don't you no, tell no, me no. what to do, no. Ernest? I wrote you oh, a haiku, thank you, Ernest. Do this. Mm. Do this. Got yeah, yeah. Throw some sad music. Ernest, I'll miss you. Out of all the holes she has, you left the biggest. Oh, I should have said whale. <laughs> Ernest did not like it. I didn't either. He, like, I didn't. I don't he, know. I was yeah. waiting for something. Yeah. Yeah, for, why? Why? It felt like I was waiting was for a high... punchline. Well, that's what Jared does. I get the punchline. I gave a setup. I gave a setup. Her, I, you're saying she gets fucked a lot, or she fucks a lot. Yeah, out of, out of all the holes, you'll leave the biggest. It's like, just very sweet. Well, he was, yeah, he was trying to do a haiku. So he was like, it was a haiku. No, I'm not trying. I did a haiku. It was a haiku, but it just wasn't. I don't Good. know. Good. It was sweet. It wasn't. It was no. just missing something. No, it was like you know, two on the nose and like. Yeah, it was just like <laughs> two, like you a whore. Yeah. I just go straight. Which is not. I I'm know. not saying no. That. She's not a whore. Thank you. Yeah. Monroe, you're supposed to know whose podcast you're coming on. Karen Feehans. Yeah, dude. Monroe and I it fucking work together at comedy clubs. Like, <laughs> we're fucking professional comedians, you little twerp. I don't know who the fuck dweeb. you think you are. Remember <laughs> Dweeb? Hey, Karen, I'm a content creator. I make a couple hundred Ew. dollars on, with my reels. I hope the next content you create is you taking a bunch of pills and never waking up. Golly. <laughs> 
<laughs> but lie, but do it live. <laughs> That's so hacky. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Me really wanting you to die. I wish I, I, like tur- I wish that turtleneck was a little tighter, Karen. Oh shit! Okay. All right. Now y'all <laughs> getting the warmed up. Now now I wish. Back. I wish. I wish your face was another shade of blue, just like those other oh, turtleneck shit. and sweater. He's a- that's when you tra- you're he's funny when he's angry. <laughs> he's well, she, like, she's been teaching him. <coughs> yeah, he's tapping into that, that dark side. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I know. I'm like tired though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's not exciting to me. Oh. That last night Derek called you a reporter. Why well, was you doing he asking asked a lot so of many questions? questions. <laughs> what kind of questions are you asking? Like, how do I get started? Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Shit like that, basically. Oh, I ask him how they, how would you get that? My name's Jared. How'd you get okay. that? My name, that's a callback. That's a callback. How'd you get another. that? <laughs> no, I don't ask that anymore. What would uh, you do? What were the questions you were asking him? That was a funny joke, though. That was what? when you used to do that. Right. How my name is Jared? How'd you uh, get that? No, I, I, you know, I think call me a reporter because like I, 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 I know what's going on on. on uh, no, he said it's because you asked so many questions. Nah, it's I, I got my said, ear to the street. Well, it's because uh-huh. I said he asked so many questions. Mm-hmm. And he goes, yeah, he's a reporter. Mm. Can you have one example, Karen? Mm. Of that you, you asking questions? Of reason quest- why you said that, yeah. Of you asking questions? Yeah. I mean, look at episodes one through fucking 63. seven or whatever. 63. There's 64. Goddamn. So. Uh, you know what? I got to start working on uh, flipping my questions into statements. Okay, Why? For what? For for podcasting? For stand up? I mean, that would have been good if you just stuck the landing and like agreed with yourself. Like, because I want to make statements. I don't want to be a bumbling idiot anymore. <laughs> you didn't. You're yeah. like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're ready. I'm thinking for. I don't think I'm he's thinking, ready. Yeah. I, I don't think, think he's thinking ready. the questions. Yeah, I was just thinking of a real reason. These questions. <laughs> for a little while longer. So, Monroe, yes. you're married. Yeah. That's so adult. Is it? Deciding to share your life with someone for the rest of your life? Like, wow. How many years were you together before marriage? Like, three. What's your number one? <laughs> yeah. Three years before three you got years. married? Yeah, so we've been married. We've been together for three and married for three. Oh, so wow. Yeah. Wow. She's yeah. supportive of your career and still believes yeah, in you? Yeah, she has no choice. She has no choice but to be supportive because I met her while working. When right. it was like yeah. I'm like I was, it's my career like how I'm traveling. How can we and shit. change men's mind? Like how do we get guys to think it's hot that girls are funny? I think only white guys think girls aren't funny. Like black men grow up with funny women in their family. Like my grandma's hilarious, my mom's hilarious, my sister's hilarious. I know I know hilarious women, but, but I, I mean, think like white the, guys just like going get the fuck out of here and like yeah. kicking you out of the room. So they, they just get, assume they're funny. Yeah. Like biologically. Like yeah, no black women what. are black women are hilarious. So uh, Yama, that, that question doesn't women, really Dominica Saunders was on the show I hosted last night. Mm-hmm. She killed so fucking hard. Yeah, I was a murderer. Be, dressed like a fucking MTV DJ. Oh, she was like pink <laughs> fucking ear. Yo, like, MTV raps? P- yeah, it's like pink hat and just yeah. like killing. She's like, yeah. I'm a bad fucking bitch. I was like, I love you so much. Yo. I just love her. Yeah. Uh, but I think my my more my question is not really like that like but like there is a dynamic with mm-hmm. funny guys look at pete davidson <clears throat> kim kardashian mm-hmm. and everyone else women see funny men and it's arousing it's fucking hot to them okay yeah and and i know you're saying you acknowledge that there are funny women in your family yeah but you mentioned like your mom and your aunt like, yeah but you're saying Get in there, Ernest. He's dying. He's trying, he's trying to chill. Oh, you, I thought he was patting me down, making sure I didn't steal no, shit. No, he's trying to. <laughs> he's like, I seen you go in that bathroom earlier. Right what up, man? What up, man? He's trying to be a little spoon. All right, come on, yo. Get your dying now he doesn't want it. He's a now hot girl. Now he don't want to do it. Now he's like, no. No. He might not want it. All right, well, look, you can chill if you want, Ernest. He's a very emotional. He's really emotional right now. Look, I get it. I should have let you in the first time. Now you're going to make me work for it. So what are you saying? You're saying why aren't men attracted to fin- funny women? Yeah. Because we're like, not attracted. Why doesn't it Personality give... is the last thing we care about. Like, it's not the last mm. thing we care about, but we're, we, we want to see you first, or at least me. I'm not speaking for all dudes, but I want to see you first and then go, oh, all right. But then get to know you and go, oh, she's funny on top I of that. I understand But like, if you're just attractive. funny, but you're like, Bleh. 
like that's what I mean. Like no. here's the thing: like a funny guy who say let's say he's funny like a six. and ugly. That's what you're saying. Say the guy's like a six. Yeah, but he's wicked funny, and it like bumps him up to like an eight. Yeah. Say a chick is like a six. Yeah. She's wicked funny. Yeah. It, like bumps her down to like a four. <laughs> but, yeah, but that's y'all. Okay, so men create. I the don't funny. know. What does that make? I know. So here, this is how I can look at it. I think guys, we only create the the rules on our side, meaning how we see women and our standards. Right. And we create our standards. So y'all created y'all standards. Uh, y'all y'all decided y'all going to settle for ugly, funny motherfuckers. <laughs> but we didn't. We were like, <laughs> growing up, I want a hot woman. I want eye candy. Right. I want somebody who got my back. And yeah. if she's funny, cool. And then y'all went... Uh, he needs to be funny and I don't really care what he looks like. So y'all start dr- daydreaming so in this stupid. mediocre nigga. So stupid. Yeah, so that's on you. Yeah, women are So what y'all settle for is for you. It ain't like funny yeah, guys are that. running up like you better fucking date me. Like no. it, you're choosing these motherfuckers. Oh, no, whoa, oh whoa. did he did he vomit? I don't know, but he, he All right, give me a <laughs> Right? Come on, come on. <laughs> Not right. on the Yeezys, bro. Uh, Come on. Uh, he like, I, 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 fuck out of here, Ernest. He just Come on, wants Ernest. To, I just like wants, you. He just wants I like you, Ernest, minutes. but don't you fucking do that. Shush, 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 shush. Shush, 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 Ernest is tripping. Ernest is dying. Tomorrow, you're, 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 you're uh, a Philly guy? Yeah, I'm right? from Philly. Okay. Started out in Philly? Started out from Philly, man. How are the women out in Philly? Hmm? Said, how are the women out in Philly? Did what that, do you mean? I don't know. Like how they look? Yeah. Uh, they wear pajama pants and Uggs. Yeah, I mean, I, I had many relationships with women no, in no Philly. Offense, I dated. Peggy O'Leary. So, but apparently, Philly's like an ugly city, which I don't. They're all think, right. There's hot people everywhere. Yeah, Come like on. I'm like, there's very attractive women. I love women like in hot Philly. people in like dumpy cities, like a hot girl in Pittsburgh. It's like, what are you doing here? You know, you could find Yo, me. like <laughs> Philly got a lot of hot chicks. You know what I mean? From like. From saying? like hood hot to all right, all right. Uh, like <laughs> valley hot to like that Afrocentric shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like yeah, we got yeah, all that. Yeah. yeah. I don't get out to Philly that much. You don't. Or at least when you do go to Philly, you just go to the part you're comfortable with. So you go to like Manny Young where like the white people hang out. Gino, Gino's and Pat. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you go to that. You go to hang out with that crowd. So you get what you get. Redding, Redding, <laughs> Redding Plaza. You get fucking... White girls from like Ohio and shit. I dated a guy from he lived he was from Philly, but once he moved to New York, he didn't go back that much. Yeah, his like growing up, everybody called him Larry. Yeah, and then he moved to New York and changed his name to Lawrence. A white Lawrence. Yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> he can. Is he cool now? He's been cool. He's always cool. I, I mean. Also, but he was I Larry. Larry. And then it's he a went different to, type of cool. And then he Lawrence. went to acting school, yeah. and then he was Lawrence. Yeah, no. recreated himself. Yeah, I like that. I That's mean, what New York will do for you. It is what it is. I'm good now. I'm like, Are you high? Yeah, I'm nice, and I'm Sorry, scared. I don't want to get too high you. where your dog gonna throw up on me. Listen, if he vomited on you, I would have taken care of whatever expenses. Oh, I appreciate that. You know. Yeah. I mean, Ernest has always gotten car sick, but I always go prepared. I have like a towel and a bag, like yeah. if I take an Uber or anything, and like just cash. Mm. Just be like, I'm sorry, but he's. It's been no, a while. I get it. He was just, he was just being sneaky with it. You know I know what I mean? that. Like he came on, he made it seem like he wanted to build a relationship. With <laughs> it. But he didn't. So he just wanted to like fucking that. puke on me. <laughs> but have you ever noticed, like, I had this dog who got hit by a UPS truck. Is and, that Ernest? No. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean? Like they sold it to you, and that was then like the no no no. The it happened while we had her. Oh okay. She used to chase specifically only UPS trucks. Yeah, cause they're brown. You said it, yeah. but I we had, I mean I we didn't raise her, we adopted yeah. her like that. But anyway, so she, this dog we would like catch her most of the time. We would like get back in the house, we catch her by the leash. We'd be like oh my god da da da. One time it was fucking snowing, and we didn't catch her. And she caught up to this fucking UPS truck and she yeah. had her leash on still. Cause maybe we just walked her. So her leash gets sucked under the tires <gasps> and then so does she. 
She breaks her pelvis in like eight places. Her front legs were broken. Wow. She somehow managed to hobble away and uh-huh. hide behind a tree yeah. to die. Because like that's uh, what dogs do or whatever. Yeah. But me and my mom went and found her. Yeah. My parents dropped a crazy amount of money to like How fix much? this. Like thousands. Thousands. Okay. We had to pick her up and take her outside to pee for like a month. Yeah. And then after that, when she was all healed, right? Yeah. She was like fucked up in the brain a little yeah. bit because whenever you pet her, she would make you hold her hand. She yeah. wouldn't put her paw down. Yeah. She was almost being like, don't let me do that again. Yeah. She was like, yo, 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 you was tripping that last time. What the fuck? I'm a dog. Why would you let me run out in the street? <laughs> <laughs> would never let us put it down. We're like, I'm sorry. We're sorry. We're Damn, sorry. Just, we should have let her die. Oh no, my God. I'm kidding. How long did she live for? Another like five, six years at least. Okay, so that was worth it. But what? did you spend those five, six years taking care of her? Yeah, we had no she... choice. We're holding her hand. Damn. <laughs> yeah. No, we did. She was kind of annoying. You have a we cat? Did. Yeah, I got a cat and a dog. Cat and a dog. Mm-hmm. That's interesting to me. Do they get along? Not really. But that's because we. I don't know. We raised our cat rough. Like our cat. Like I used <laughs> to rough house. Dinner. You must have raised our cat. No, rough house. I'm like, because I didn't want a cat. And we got, I wanted a dog. And I told my wife, I was like, just know I'm going to treat this cat like a dog. So, like, when you get a kitten, like, most people just let their kittens do cute shit and roll over. No, I would, like, fight her. I'm like, wah, wah, wah. I'll slap her up and shit. So now she'll come over to you and start fucking with you and slap you up. <laughs> and she does that to the dog. That's fun. Yeah, but she's but like. Does it hurt? Does she have claws that hurt? Well, she knows she doesn't take them out. She's like, she scratched us a lot, but it's always been like an accident. What do you mean take them out? They like retract? And yeah, they're retractable. Really? So they can de- they determine when the claws come out. So they can be like a turtle. Like she'll smack the dog in the face, but like claws in. Yeah. She'll like whack the dog. That's like, hilarious. Bat! And the dog be like, can we see a video of that? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you man. didn't know the cats. I don't know anything about cats. Claws? Yeah, cats Jared's can fucking. A, Jared's strictly turtle guy. <laughs> yeah. You got turtles? You're too had, old for that had, shit. I had a turtle. It, oh, it you went, like turtles? You got to phase them out. It went missing. Like, I think you got to have your last turtle, be, like, by 14. Wait, it's not a real pet. No. Like, yeah, I it was. know. If, like, you go yeah. over a person's house and they got, like, a turtle tank in their room. I'm like, what is it? It was in our kitchen. Yeah. No. It was, great. it was a great look. Yeah, I had it until I was, like, 18, and then it went missing. Yeah, good. it didn't go missing. Your mom just no, was, like, no, you're too old for this shit. No. She what do you mean it went missing? What do you think happened? It went missing because it would summer on our deck every every year. And uh, we would put in like a kiddie pool and set yeah. it up. And one summer we then put the kiddie pool out. So yeah. uh, my mom uh, saw him like swimming towards the sunlight. So yeah. she was like, let me put him in a bucket to yeah. sunbathe. Yeah. So she puts him in a bucket. She comes back from her lunch and uh, he is gone. She wakes me up in like a panic. Like, yeah. oh, my gosh, the turtle is gone. The turtle is gone. And, like, uh, I went out looking for so it. So I either stole the turtle or that's not the full story. Yeah. That's, that's the full story. Yeah. My mom would. I think that my your mom, mom deserves be... an Academy Award. <laughs> no, my mom How is long a did very your mom let act. you believe in Santa? Oh, no. Like, what? Oh, Santa? I'm Jewish. Oh, I didn't know you were Jewish. Yeah. Josh Schwartz. Y'all don't got like a. I, I didn't know your last name. <laughs> I just knew you was Jared. Like, it's I'm gonna so, be a while before hey, I like know your last name. <laughs> At least you know my name's Jared. I mean, Some yeah. people know me as Karen's co host. Mm. I like those. There's people. no like, there's no mascot for Hanukkah besides that candle. A uh, mascot. Like, because the mascot for Christmas Hanukkah is Santa Harry. Claus yeah. or it's, Jesus, depending on which way you <laughs> lean. But for Hanukkah, it's just the, the menorah. There's no like fucking Hanukkah Harry they say like yeah Hanukkah Harry oh I don't know if he's real or Uh, or uh, David yeah Star Star David but Star David what does that even mean that's just a star I'm not I'm not I shouldn't I I I represent Jewish people but but I shouldn't like I shouldn't be the spokesman for. Do you do then you, you should well, today's represent Friday, them. so obviously you don't really <laughs> what, what'd you say? Say today's Friday, so you don't really you're not really Jewish. Yeah, yeah. You're I, out I don't fucking I don't, using electricity. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday to Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, sun up. Sundown. Yeah. Okay. I mean I got bar mitzvah. I, I was in a, you know, I think I'm in it for but the money. But you did it for the money. I'm in it for the money. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean I never touched that money. It's you not, didn't? That's not money I'll be That's touched. just a good I mean, practice. My parents, That's a good cultural practice. That I mean, yeah. when you rec- everybody comes together and they give this kid like fifteen grand and you go now you fifteen can- grand because that's how much they make they be that making like make? twenty thousand and shit yeah about that but they be walking away no that's because you grew up poor I grew up middle class so what you get like seven hundred even- bucks in a used Corolla. <laughs> 1990 Corolla yeah. see yeah that's what you get and they you get have, you had a sweet sixteen 
I didn't, but I wasn't confirmed. Like my brother oh, went through confirmation mm-hmm. and made different. money, not fifteen thousand yeah, dollars, maybe nah, like three. Man. But they also, we also spent that one. But you can spend it, or you just keep yeah. it and start a company. I wish my parents shit. invested it. Yeah, that yeah, would have been great. See? Imagine they invested in That's Apple a good back cultural then. practice. Yeah, would've, would've so many been, people are been great. mad about that. But yeah, I'm pretty. My mom, you didn't my, know. My mom uh, went through like a whole thing with her company, and she just doesn't like uh, stocks. So she never invested. She don't believe in stocks. She, nah, she's just a very Jewish, m- nervous mother. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and yeah. she she'd rather have cash. But my mom's my mom's very old school. She doesn't stand cash is useless now. It's all about NFTs and stocks. I mean, for you, I hope I don't live that long. Where now I gotta learn new money. Oh well. Like I don't want to learn new money. <laughs> I want to do. I want this. I want this shit. Old money. Live. Me too. Feel? I'm yeah, not right? smart enough. Yeah, I won't. I definitely won't survive. They they'll definitely be getting over on me. Yeah. You know they be like, we paid you in NFTs in like Bitcoin, or and whatever. I'm like, like right. my rent is due. How do I? They won't accept <laughs> U.S. Your dollars. New form of payment. Like, come on, <laughs> motherfucker! What are you talking about? <laughs> They're know. like, well, in in two weeks it'll be up more, so we'll, <laughs> it'll be. But I don't. I understand, but I'm still like. The dollar bill is always the dollar bill. It's not like, oh, here's a dollar, and then they're like, oh, well, it's not worth that much today. Commercial <laughs> real estate, that's where it's at. Yeah? That's where I want to put my money. I heard it's Beanie Babies. That's a good idea, too. Yeah. Or we should invest <laughs> so in similar. the Staten Island Ferries. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Colin Jost and Pete yeah. Davidson and Paul Talia. That's pretty sick. It yeah. Is about, is oh, you're from Stat- Staten Island? Yeah, it is about the Staten Island Ferry. Oh, good, man. They I'm got, happy for you. So Pete turn. Davidson's like y'all hero, right? He's, he's, he's definitely up there for me. He's, oh. a, he's a big inspiration, Aww. for sure. He was like one of the first specials I really watched. Dope. That's SMD. Good. Pete That's Davidson. Good guy. Good That's, shit. That was one of the funniest So what are y'all going to do? Turn it into like a, a thing where a like y'all do a restaurant? They're turning it into, They're a, turning into a live event space. Oh, there you oh go. okay. All right. Italia. Oh yeah? yeah, the stand. Yeah, oh, gonna be, uh, look at that. pretty pretty cool stuff. They're gonna dock it in Manhattan, which you know, it's gonna be jumping. Are they gonna be racist it's towards gonna be black people? Where they gonna be like, yo, no, no shoes, <laughs> no fucking hats. They're like, what? No hat. That's all how of a you sudden know there's a like dress niggas. code. Why? Because we're yeah. at sea. Once a dress <laughs> we're not code at is sea. invoked, this is the Hudson. <laughs> once a dress code invoked, I'm like, oh okay. We're not trying to play that type of. We're not trying to have that type of crowd. Have you seen the boats that like go across the Hudson, like the party boats? Nah, I've only been on like the ferry like twice in my life. Some of them are like look like they're really fun. Yeah. Yeah, and all, but they also look like if you don't want to be there, yeah. they're like a living nightmare. I think I did one. Actually, no. Me and my wife did one, and then the seller had one. They used to do that shit. But then it was like a party. Like it was like, like a really party. So they would do a show. Yeah. They would do two shows, and then it'll turn into a dance party. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were more familiar with trains, Karen. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. That's just, yeah, another mode that of transportation. Was that one was hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I had good, to get Jared. back because that one caught me off guard. <laughs> Hornblower. Also, Karen. <laughs> uh, I see. Getting greedy. Yeah. That wasn't yeah, that good. Angry. Let me wasn't that good. All right. Let me make sure. Could be, he <laughs> Have you ever been to Staten Island? Have I been to Staten Island? Yeah. Not really. Like, I, I went to Staten I had a show on Staten Island long ago, but it was, like, really, as soon as you got off the right. ferry, yeah, you yeah, just yeah. walked up like the street. Like Bay Street? Yeah, so. No, I never. It's pretty cool. It's Damn. getting hip. We got a we got a, a shopping mall right outside, uh, like a outlet mall. I hate your town. This motherfucker said, it's getting hip. We have a shopping mall right outside. Like, that's oh, it? Like, that's just, all you that's need all to that's fucking be cool is a shopping mall? Yeah. Yeah. Meatloaf died, sorry. and, like, none of us even reacted. Oh, how about like, Louie yeah. Anderson, R.I.P.? I never listened to Meatloaf. Do you find it interesting that Meatloaf and Louie died on the same day? They probably they the, the same, same person? person. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Or they both, they both like Meatloaf, probably. Well, I don't Meatloaf know. I heard doesn't from a, look a little like Louis Anderson. I, I don't like picture. to speak ill of the dead, but I heard from a, a not a source I won't disclose that Louis was gay, was closeted, but gay. I mean, well, probably. Well, if you show me that picture from Baskets, I would say, yeah. Yeah. Which is sort of a thing, you know? Yeah. And then I'll be honest, Meatloaf, I thought he was dead for sure. Oh, man, I thought and both then, of them were dead for a while. And then when they said from COVID, I thought they were going to, like, run an ad for, like, the vaccine, like, yeah. right after. 
I mean, look, I don't know why they like. Is, are they using the COVID thing to like? I know he's like from COVID. It's like to no, scare. No, Milo is like, dead from complications. From, exactly, Milo yeah. is Ernest dead. Is dying from COVID. So from like, the yeah. comorbidities that he had. I mean, his name's Meatlo. I mean, yeah, like, he had to yeah, live up to his meat. name. You like Meatlo? Um, lost I weight. did, but meatloaf wasn't did. something I really ate. Like I only had meatloaf when I lived in like group homes. I didn't have meatloaf like like when I lived with like in foster care with like black families. That really wasn't a thing they were whipping up. No. They weren't like, let's make this loaf of meat. It was like we'd rather just eat a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> My mom makes a nice meatloaf. Oh okay, yeah, she, like, no, she, but I've definitely had meatloaf. I understand the ketchup on it. Yeah. Ketchup. Like I yeah, you yeah. put meatloaf on you put ketchup on meatloaf. Oh, or bar it can yeah. put yeah, yeah barbecue, barbecue yeah. sauce. Like I've we tasted all that shit. Pierogies. Yeah, my, ooh, my you know, pierogi. good old pierogi, yo. My mom made a nice meatloaf. Yeah, what she do? Like how she bind it? I don't know. It's like breadcrumbs in it or something. Yeah. Little cheese. I don't know. It was yeah, good. And put the foil Seasoning? over. Seasoning. Yeah, yeah, my mom made me some for lunch this week. They got great. meatloaf, meatloaf? seasoning. Yeah. Your mom made you meatloaf this week. Correct. So how do you eat your meatloaf? Do you do meat like? See, look, you got that sauce on top. Yeah, shit yeah. look good, man. Yeah, I bring it to work. What the, what the, what's that, basil or <laughs> paisley? Yeah. Why, Joey Rose's should have a meatloaf sandwich. Yeah, I've never had a meatloaf sandwich because that's always like the bread is too thick. Because there's breadcrumbs in meatloaf, I think. Yeah. Like, I think it becomes, but I no, think you just got to eat do... meatloaf with like mashed potatoes, probably some corn, some other greens. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese and meatloaf seem delicious. Tater tots. The other night I had tater tots with bacon, Ooh. like, and then this sauce. It's called crack sauce. Yeah. Oh, they sell that shit at a supermarket. Crack sauce? I crack think sauce? it's called crack sauce or bitchin' sauce. Some one of those things. I'm sorry, I don't. I'm look that up. Huh? Blood. Crack sauce. No, um, you don't have to look up crack. You don't have to look up crack sauce. Yeah, look it up. Don't listen. Or to Or if the meatloaf has gravy, like if somebody if they yeah. do like a gravy with the meatloaf, that shit can go in. Mm. I used to be in charge of stirring the gravy. What type of gravy did y'all make? Y'all made gravy from scratch, from like the oil of the meatloaf, or did y'all make like box gravy? Um, both. Okay. But there were years that we made that my mom like had like a recipe and seasoning and used yeah. like the fat and like, yeah. and there was other years it was like in a can. Yeah. And it just you, it slowly melted. It slowly yeah it was like it was like fucking. And I look look at I'm like we have yeah. to eat this but I still did. Yeah, it was like uh, what's that shit called cranberry sauce? It was like mm. chilled like that. I made fresh cranberry sauce this year. I don't fuck with fresh cranberry sauce. It's I only si- fuck with that that the, shit the, with the, the ribs can? in it. Jello. Yeah. You like Jello? Oh, I love the Jello. It. I love oh, the Jello. So and you gotta cut it down the ridges oh, and make so it good. in a little How slice. How do you know about Bill Cosby? And what? meatloaf and fucking and what? Jello? Like how the meat? Oh, okay. I like I it. Bill like Cosby and. What you mean? He's, he's Bill Cosby. <laughs> what do you mean? Like about his his raping? <coughs> yeah, you know, his rape fest. I mean, I don't, know. I don't have a way. I don't feel a way about it. So I don't feel bad. I mean, like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that in a way that's insensitive. That's, is it insensitive? To oh, the victims all, and their families? Maybe yeah, like it's bit. not. No, I'm saying I don't I don't mean to say it in a way that's insensitive to their to the victims. But I mean it in a way of like. I don't care to I, check on it. I agree. And to like make it a part of my life. Like it means nothing to me. I agree with you. And I like just he, find it interesting yeah. when like regular ass people like write posts. Like when the article comes do, out, Karen. they don't have shit to do. I Most know. people don't have shit to do. So they allow these 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 things to be a part of their lives and affect their days and their friendships. And it's just like, who cares? Right. Isn't that annoying when yeah. you I think like lately, like when you don't have the same opinion as somebody like the conversations get so tense. Yeah, I don't know. It's fucking weird, right? It's fucking people are weird sometimes. <laughs> I, don't know. I guess I like people don't want to. I guess people are uh, maybe like uncomfortable <laughs> with confrontation. So they feel like if you don't have the same views as them, there's a high probability for confrontation. Yeah. And they'll rather just be with people that already agree like with them. Jared yeah. just okay. got yelled at in my building. What did the yeah, lady say? Yeah, that was funny. I was happy to see it. <laughs> <laughs> that was Very happy. respectful of her to wait for me to get off the phone as well. <laughs> Can you tell me exactly what she said? I honestly, I, I, I there's something about putting on a mask. Or like she was like, something about not wearing a mask. Oh, Jared building. walked in here with no mask I on. I did. You, you're which sign, is like. You, you did have it. I honestly yeah. did. Did not know. You know what's funny? I actually do have a mask in my jacket too, so I'm Man. very apologetic. Not really, but I am very. Uh, it's like that. People are very sh- willy-nilly harassing people in yeah. my building. Like, 
I wear a mask to avoid harassment and mm, for that's, not, that's bullying. I agree. Like, that's bullying. I agree. Like for no other reason. And oftentimes, and if I'm in the mood to like really not wear a mask, I won't. But like, I'll tell you right now, my headspace in those times, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get in a fight. Then I'm gonna yeah. get in a fucking fight with somebody right now. Yeah. So let's get in a yelling match. I don't like. Here's what, I don't like the mask. I wear the mask, but I only wear it right now because it keeps my face warm. It's but cold like, as yeah, hell in right, 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 It actually right. helps with keeping your face warm, it and does. it's appropriate. It does. Like, if I did that without it being COVID season, <laughs> like, people would be scared. Can I tell you? But I'll, now it's, like, the norm, so I'm going to fucking do it. But it I does help. It does help with the cold. I like it. Only reason I'm an I'm a anti-masker just because I'm, like, you don't know. Like, if I, I'm vaccinated and, like, boosted up, and I feel like that's enough. Yes. To me, that's enough. Of course. But you're also, if I'm exercising, I'm staying healthy, yeah. I'm keeping social distance, live I'm outside, life. I should be able to live my life. You're preaching to the choir. And you should, but if you disagree with me, you keep it to yourself because it's like mm. you but don't know if I'm vaccinated. From behind a mask, people are very brave. They can't wait to yell at you and wag their finger because they cases are up. Do you know there's cases in the building? Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, somebody has a cold in the building? Yeah. Like, shut the fuck up, you idiot. It's like car energy. Like, people uh. are like tough when they're in their cars, mm. and now you got your yeah. mask. You, you're you like, this it's nigga like, only see my eyes. It's what like audience energy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got another mask Call to back. hide behind. Call back. Yeah. Hey, I'm good for some things. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> it wasn't a joke, but it was just an acknowledgement. I'm anti. I'm anti everything. I'm, I'm anti. Just, <laughs> I'm just like do whatever you want to do. Mask vaccination, but I have all that shit. <laughs> you, you don't see. You really don't see a lot of people not wearing masks going up to people wearing masks. Like stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like we're not bothering you. Like be stupid. Like yeah. live your sheepy life. I don't care. Yeah. I'm not gonna bother you and tell you to take it off. I don't want to look at you. I'm yeah. minding my own business. You're the one popping my bubble. Yeah, absolutely. I kind of <laughs> I respect the people who don't wear masks, and because they're just out living their life, they got headphones on, they listen to their music when they cough, they use their elbow or their shirt, whatever. But they're just out here, and I'm and like, that's why I have my they're headphones not, on. Ah, they're my, not doing that shit. Right. My headphones on. A lady was yelling at me one time. I was coming in, I didn't have a mask on. She's like, "You really should be wearing a mask in common areas." And I was like, "Shh, shh, 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 shh." <laughs> 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 right to her <laughs> I can't hear you. Yeah. But it would be it would be a good show called uh, My Sheepy Life and yeah. you get star on it. Yeah. On the panel again. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that was funny cuz yeah. uh, Can I tell you like there's it, it all depends on my mood too like there's also been times where people are like where's your mask? Sorry. It's no, he drew it. I didn't know. He drew it. Yeah. Oh. Ah, shit. He still drew it. That's thing. Did you smell it? Yo, Why would you smell you? it? Oh, no. Smell it. No. Dude, I ruined the girl's no, life. No, I know. Yo, like, I ruined the girl's no. life. You want to go wash your hands? We'll, yeah, we'll stall for time. I got a quick story. I got, I got a quick story one time. Okay. Oh, no. There's soap in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, that's gross. And Wait, like a what? Oh, that's that's funny. Yo, one time, I remember it was like sixth grade, seventh grade, and my boy had just fingered a girl. And he like he's like yo smell my fingers and I was like what and it was like bro that smells like fish and I felt bad man we ruined that girl's life she was known as fish for the next couple of years bro I felt like like shit and I didn't tell anyone other people did but you know that's it's just word spread so yeah uh, you're known as fish now pop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, I got some really big news today. I am working at one of my dream schools indefinitely. Things are, you know, really turned around. I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, I'm reading now. Uh, I'm really uh, working on myself. And, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very excited for, you know, the future. Uh, some really big news <laughs> in my day job situation. You know, <coughs> comedy situation, hey. Come find out at Mama's Boy Comedy. Uh, tomorrow, please, we got one of our biggest shows yet. We're uh, at a, a Gamma Lounge, otherwise known as Joey Bats Cafe, new indoor location. Please come check it out. We got two shows, 8 and 10 p.m. Uh, I mean, if Karen's enthusiasm says anything, this is going to be a great show. You know, please, please Ernest, come out. Mama's Boy come Comedy, uh, brand new location. Very excited. Cheap tickets. Can you go I'm, get you know, a paper towel, Pat? It's going to be a great time. He's not drilling right now, but he will. I was talking about how uh, one time, you know, 
I was me and my boys were at a yard with like these girls and stuff and uh you're gonna yeah. repeat the fingering story? Are you joking? <laughs> it's a podcast. It's a podcast. I know, but he just fucking said it. I was listening. I it's was a into stupid it. I didn't even think they, about it as the replay. I know. I that's okay. Just, yeah. Okay. My but bad. I'll hmm. just tell you it. They called some girl named Fish and it ruined her life. Jared, because of pussy stink? Yeah. It was, she was like 13. Yeah. I don't know. How'd she get a stink pussy at 13? She probably had a poor pH balance. Was yeah, she an athlete? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit! Even think about that. I just felt that. bad. Like I remember my boy. Because it's still was, new. Yeah. At that point, like it don't got no also, miles like, on also, it. Also, like fuck like, you and your little homo friends for not liking what pussy smells like. Because sometimes pussy smells like that. For a long time. Be, you want to be around your mom's time, thought, cleaning pussy? I don't that, know like, my mom's pussy. Because you never smelled your mom's pussy. You still live with, with her in there. Wait, she's <laughs> never left like a tampon or like she hey, used wait, the bathroom. She, 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 she used the bathroom. Not saying you picked it up, uh, but uh, like I've lived with women where you go in the bathroom and they pee and you'll be like, what the? Did you shit? You know what her titties feel like? You're always telling me about how nice her boobs feel. My mom's? Yeah. Your mom got some knockers. Got some you knockers. just feel her up. You don't go down on her. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. crazy. You live with your rude. mom that long, rude. and you don't know where pussy he smell like. Do you girl. know what your mom pussy smell like? Of course nah, she does. Dude, I never thought about no. that. Oh, because your parents had uh, bathrooms in their room, probably. I right? got the same bathroom as my mom. So maybe and it's she just one big never, odor. Maybe your mom must have yeah, drank yeah, a lot I mean, of water. Well, you ain't mom, never caught your mom on an off uh, night where I, she got a, like I mean, a fucking... Bro, you know my, mom's, I mean? I, 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 my mom's had B.O. before, but I don't know if that's her pussy. Okay, it's probably her pussy. No. Like if you it ain't, no, because she'll be like, I haven't showered in three days. I'm like, all right. Then it's your pussy. Nah, Jared, Jared's like, all right, we can still fuck. Nah, because I'll smell her fucking... I like it. I like it. If she hasn't showered for three days, you go to the bathroom. And you walk in, and there's like a, a tinge where you're like, yeah, it yeah, don't yeah. stink, but it don't smell right either. <laughs> That's a pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, now I'll keep, that, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind yeah, <laughs> next you know, time I go to my bathroom. Like, it smells like It's sour just like cream your dick and, and balls are gross. Like, they're gross to look at. Mm-hmm. They're gross to have in our mouths. Speak like, they yourself. smell. Right, right. I got like, a pretty penis, Karen. I'm sure after Girls the gym, your dick is no, gross wow, to grow. Such like, a pretty penis. I'm sure yours is gross. Like, no. gross, like gross, 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 gross. Like all of you. But all we'll of you wash gross. it off before we ask you to fucking but come over. Are, are you cut, bro? Yeah. Good like, for, what is this? Who's not uh, cut? I don't uh, mind an uncut penis. Nobody, I feel nobody like if you're, uh, I'm not any religion, but it's just cut because that's the way right. my mom wanted it, I guess. Right. right. But. Um, are people I don't mind really out here just not getting cut? Is that really like. I don't a know. My last boyfriend wasn't cut. Uh-huh. Your what? It was great. Boyfriend? Yeah. Probably Get stunk. out of probably, here! Probably yo. stunk. Come here. I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean. It to probably, you, it probably I'm stunk. Dying. Man. Probably, <laughs> probably, probably smelled like someone's pussy. Oh yeah. yeah your fin- you just you tell me to smell your finger was just a remo- like a flashback to yeah, that no, kid no, telling okay. me to smell his finger. For that was the first time I ever heard it. No, you know. Man. How do you know that kid didn't have his finger in his asshole earlier that day? Because I watched. Oh him. shit! You watched him finger a girl. They were on the bench together. Yeah. And you just sat in the distance. We were ball. We were balling out. Thank we were playing ball at the, at the, at the, at the oh, park. Oh, okay, cool. So you was on the court yeah. watching your friend finger a girl. I, I was in the in the in the, I, I in the prep, prep. Uh, what is it? You went to prep peripheral, school? peripheral, uh, peripheral, peripheral <laughs> view. No, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, you better hope that don't come back. What? Like you know what I mean? When you get famous and shit, she be like, he watched me get fingered in the park. On the bench. Yeah. I was only 13. Yeah, then he ruined my life. Yeah. And she writes a book about it. Yep, I tell all. Jared. Yo, speaking of writing a book about it, you see uh, Jamie Lynn Spears and Britney Spears. What? What are they doing? Oh, now you got to make me Wait, quiet. Jamie Lynn is the, <laughs> Jamie Lynn is the, no, get, the young and Jared, and Jared with the girls news section of the yeah. podcast. Hit it, Like, babe. you hit me with the fucking, the gossip <laughs> column. <laughs> Jamie Lynn, uh, Which, who's wrote, Jamie Lynn? Is, is doing a uh, she's doing okay. uh, uh, she look a a tour. Like, uh, Britney Spears. Is no, that J- that's so Jamie she, Lynn right she there? She wrote a memoir about like what I should have said or whatever. Or mm-hmm. I think that might be the title. What was the she title? She looked like Renee Zellweger. What was, what was the title? It might oh, be like no, what I should have said. No oh, things I should have said. And uh, yeah, she, Britney is Britney went on like Instagram and put like this whole shit. It was like fuck you, blah blah blah. Like uh, bro, pull that post up. How come you just can't tell us about it if it's yeah. that? Oh, she's now yeah. suing her to stop talking about her at all these like to- on your on the tour. She sent a cease and desist. A cease and desist. Oh okay. no no. Uh, what is it when you talk bad about someone? Yeah. Defamation. Uh, defamation. Defamation. Yeah yeah. 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 
So she's like, I'm suing you for defamation. Mm -hmm. And you brought this up because you brought it up. Because I did that to this girl. So you did you you did that to her already? No, you defecated on her. <laughs> Is that your king character? You're saying she can sue you for defamation of character? Because you no. said her pussy stink? Or you're saying you it's if she related. says something about you, you can sue her for defamation of character? That too? What the fuck are you no, talking no, about, no. Jared? No. Thank you. No. I don't Thank get you. what you're saying, Jared. Thank no, no, it was the first one, the, the former. Oh, Okay. But anyway, is this it, is... Or you just, no, it is. Okay. It is. Because I, I defamated her character. Oh, they look the by same. Saying, no, you didn't. If yeah, I put stink, that's not defamation. Uh, You're not making things up. Well, but then the thing was, like, word spread, her name was Fish. Oh, uh, that's just lazy writing, though. <laughs> like, I put you stink, you <laughs> her name grade. is just and Fish. And you can't even pick a specific fish. Yeah. Like, call her fucking Salmon Call snatch. her Nemo. <laughs> yeah, you know, what up, Nemo? Like, there's... Fish. Uh, Going to a black school made shit so much fun. I, I went to. Because, like, nicknames uh, my, yeah. were creative. Yeah, I, got, I, I, had, I had a couple tuna. of good nicknames yeah. from some, uh, some of my friends. We'd be like, what up, Star Kiss? Some shit like that. And not even one of the funniest probably... nicknames I got, and I, I have to say, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but one of the funniest is. Wait, which one's Britney? <laughs> the one on. In that picture. On the left. She, that don't look like Britney Spears. That look like somebody else. She cracked out. She looks like Michael Jackson coming. Like yeah, she looked like a, she looked like a totally different person. She like a no, new. It's on her Instagram. The latest oh one. It, it's a small town. She was just like, basically, Britney was just like, I came home and you didn't do anything and you just threw all the blame on me. First of all, she was like, I just. Who's butt is that? Br- Britney Brit- been going crazy. She posted nudes and shit, bro. That but y'all like that? Damn, she was hot then. That's but old. She don't, it's either the pit, like she doesn't have no her butt. Body. It's just like. Flat. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad for a white girl, though. No, it is bad. Karen, for a turn white around, girl. show them. No, show them the only asset you got. Cause it, like, it, white girls got better bodies than that. Yeah, but she's Britney Spears. What does that mean? She's she should still have the best body because she dances all the time. She's does still. She? I, I mean, I think people just love and adore her because of who she is and what she's created. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, she's not going to be as hot. She she's made, what, 42? Uh, for, she's she's not going to be as hot rhymes? as she was when she's she was kid, 18. Right? Right? Yeah, she's. She her physique is really good. Physique? No, it's not. She, yeah, she's like spell a, it, Pat. You uh, said it, you physique. spell it. Spell it. Yeah, I can spell it. This motherfucker yeah. trying not to get canceled. It's it's P H. He's trying not to get canceled. P H. Is it P H? Physique. S Y. I Q U E. I think it's P H Y S. I Q U E. Damn it. But anyway, we'll sound off in the comments about Pat. No, I think she's too like she's too like square now. Yeah, she lost her hips a little bit. No, she 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 too skinny. Lost her hips, right? I was right. Oh, okay. I don't. You didn't say I, Pat. I didn't hear the I. I don't ever remember her being a curvy woman. You said P H S. He did say PHS. We'll rewind it. You we'll goofy, it. goofy, goofy, goof, goof. We'll rewind it. Yeah, Karen, he might have. Get him. But I didn't hear an I, so whatever. Look, we'll I start didn't hear shit. He didn't even spell How'd you do, how'd you do when you were spelling bees? I mean, as a young kid, I did great, because that's all I had to do was remember words. <laughs> like, I didn't have no responsibility. It was just yeah. remember these words. But now, I don't remember shit. You read books? Sometimes when I when I feel stupid, I read books. You read books. When I'm now? like, ah, oh. you're probably gonna have to read a book after this. I'm probably no. I'm me. having fun. I'm reading some article right now. On Britney Spears? No, no, no. <laughs> it's about some chick. I didn't get all of it through. It's about some chick. It's in the Huffington Post. It's about some chick whose like brother is like a conspiracy theorist, and she's basically outing him. And then as, as you read, you just realize she's as crazy as him. I was like, just so she, say, she's projecting. Like, yeah, because she not even that she's projecting is that the way she labels herself and the and the her reason for thinking the things that she is. She's like she starts it off like my brother believes in conspiracy theories and he thinks that Biden isn't the real president and the insurrection was needed and blah blah blah. And then she goes as a Libra and I was like, well, <laughs> that's no. a conspiracy. That's a conspiracy no. theory. It's not a fact that no. fucking. As a Libra, you know what I mean? Supporting me. fact. I'm a witch, so yeah. let me go on. But it's a conspiracy. As a witch, you it's said. not a fact that your what is it? Your astrology, like your astrology, astrology, astrology. like your 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 sign and all that shit. When people do that and they're like, "Well, I'm this," and that's why I right. like that. I'm like, that's the a conspiracy. The second you say as a and then list your astrological yeah, sign. Yeah, that's a conspiracy. Like, I'm done. And then she goes, you know, and I'm a feminist. And then she just goes on to say I mean, these we things. we knew she was a feminist. And then you just go, well, Libra. now you're just. And she goes, yeah. and I can't believe his thing. I had to take in consideration 
his opinion, but I had to apply science with facts. And but I'm like, a what? Buddhist. And the moon. Yeah, and she's like, <laughs> and I'm a Buddhist, so I had to leave with love. And I'm like, all you're doing is this. You're at war because you're comparing your shit to his shit. Like, right. Versus just letting this motherfucker live. Is it a coincidence that I'm writing this at the height of my moon cycle? I don't know. Maybe. Fuck my brother. No. And then <laughs> I'm like. so she, emotional. So emo- It was like unnecessary. It's like no one cares about your brother, but you're willing to out your family member for a shot. Out some I was sort just of thing. Yeah. Like yeah. Huffington you know what I mean? I never. Sorry. Okay. Like yeah. Huffington Post is like, we need to let the people know. They need yeah. to right. read this woman's opinion. Like, yeah. What? what was it like labeled? Like, what was the title? Why is this person important? Like that they're even. I don't know. Article? Sometimes when I'm trying to feel smart about myself, <laughs> I just click on random articles, oh. and I'll go, <laughs> oh, let's see what this is about. Here, I'll tell you the. When I want to feel smart about myself. Yeah, sometimes, man. I only want to. It literally it just said the t- the headline is my gentle, intelligent brother is now in a conspiracy theorist, <laughs> and his beliefs are shocking. And shocking is the thing that draw me in. It drew me in because you hear shocking, shocking, you go ooh, ooh, and then you're not shocked. You're just like ugh. Like the only shocked. thing shocking. I'm not about shocked this. because she says she's a Libra, and I'm like, well, I'm not shocked that you're fucking I'm stupid sh- too. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like to gaslight girls with uh, astrology. Yeah, I'll be like, "Oh, you're an Aquarius. That makes a lot of sense. Why you're acting like this?" Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Karen, Let you- people believe in what they want to believe in and keep it moving. Yeah. You know what happened? We got five minutes. Is that what you yeah. said? Karen, I don't, Karen's just sinking into the couch. How was your week? What you? What uh? What'd you do this week? I don't, I don't, know. I don't know, man. I uh, what's but- I uh, I did it's some stand up. I did some stand up. I did some cleaning. I did some writing. I had some meetings. My weekend's fine. My week was fine. That's <laughs> it. Like I'm not like it's nothing exciting. It was just like oh yeah, I'm still doing this. Shit. Anything exciting coming up? I mean, I'm working on things exciting. So hopefully it comes up. You know, hopefully it'll be like something where it's just like, oh, yeah, next week. Like eventually it'll get to a point where I can be like, oh, next week this will be this. Yeah. But right now I'm just working on it. So you got any tips for me? You for what? Coming comic? I don't know, nigga. Um, <laughs> this Jared's advice segment. So that's his segment? Every, that's what he does? Guest. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> And I got to be sincere about it? You're going to have to. Well, no, you just oh, answer. you I don't answered know, it the first way. <laughs> I, I, don't know what you're, I don't know what he's doing, but I will tell you, if any tips, it's just like he seems to be doing something right because like, this motherfucker came out of nowhere. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Literally, I he invited me to do a show. The show was fucking popping. It was packed out. And then I see this motherfucker everywhere. I see him on your shit. I see him at the stand and stuff. So I'm like, keep doing what you're doing. Oh, thank you, bro. Yeah, I, I don't want to be like, and don't do that. Yeah, just keep <laughs> rocking out and moving how you move. And you'll be fine. Thank you. I really I appreciate know. that. That's the most sincere answer we've gotten. All, you know, I just want to go out on the record and say, never mind. Yeah, I'm like, what? what never the mind. Fuck? We keep that to that myself. That was such a perfect moment for you. What happened? <laughs> he bitched out. Bitched out. <laughs> I thought before I spoke. When you, like, did you ever do, like, those type of roller coasters that go up really high? Or, like, those type of slides mm-hmm. where you have to go down, like, the drum? Yeah, I, love I, the love adrenal- I love the adrenaline rush. Me yeah. Too. I just assumed you would, like, what? get up there and turn around. Oh, why? Because you're a punk? <laughs> <laughs> I did that one time, and I regret it. Right? Not a roller coaster. I was, me and my wife, we were in Mexico. Oh, this is recent. Yeah, this was, like, last year or something like that. Or <laughs> two years ago, we were in Mexico. And you know what a cenote is? It's just like fresh water, fucking springs, where it's just like, Excuse they're me. really deep. They're small, but they're deep. They're oh, like 20 man. feet deep. It's a night show millionaire, cenote. Uh, no, I'm not. It's just what they're <laughs> It's just what it's called, So no, Karen. we don't. So no, we are. Uh. <laughs> so basically, like, people, like, jump in them, and they swim all the way to the bottom and shit like that. So, like, there was, like, a swing. That like you that was only like ten feet and you'll get on that shit and then there was one that was like thirty fucking feet and it was high and I'm like I'm getting on that shit and then I climbed all the way up there and then I looked and it was oh, like fucking everything wild. and I was like nah and I fucking climbed down and then uh, and I pissed out in front of everyone? And then, yeah oh and I felt God, like I'm bit hurt people. my pride oh. <laughs> like I told my wife like I was like yo COVID happened because I didn't fucking do that. <laughs> Like, the world shut down because I didn't fucking jump That's off this I thing. I know that feeling. Yo, I'm like, I'm being a bitch. 
my uncle used to make me go on this that like Geronimo I slide. Like, yeah. Else. There you go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, because my uncle molested me. Did he? No. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. But he used to make me go up and like there'd be like all these like college kids or high school kids. I don't know. They were always seem so much older than me. Mm-hmm. And he we would like get to cut and stuff, or he would just cut them. I don't know yeah. why. And he would just talk shit to them the whole way up the slide. Yeah. He'd be like, She's going, you're a pussy. She's, <laughs> she's eight, you're yeah. a fag. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think he was drunk. <laughs> Yo, that's so funny. <laughs> Look how little she is. <laughs> Yeah, that's all, that's all. And you backed off. You oh, like got up there what, the first you... time I did, but yeah. then yeah, I felt so. It like stuck with you for a while, right? Yeah, how to get past it? Yeah, and... I get. Yeah, I'm like that now. I gotta you know go back and do it. I did it once, yeah. and it was really fucking scary because yeah. I was a little bit too little probably to be doing yeah. it. I, my back wouldn't hit the slide, oh. so I just felt like I was falling. Oh, I know what you're talking about. We were just like, Shh, yep. and then you only hit the slide. You only hit the bottom. Hit the, yeah, it was like, boom. Yeah, and you're like, oh, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, so. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he maybe there's like dim- dog dementia. No. I think there's like, all right, all right. That's why you well, don't adopt on dogs. That note. You got this tough a fucking veteran <laughs> on right that here. No, before we start a brawl, got PTSD. <laughs> He was about to chew rest- this whole is, house apart because I slapped the Hey, couch. hey. What? They have a lot of common. They're both rescues. Who, me? I'm a rescue. That's funny. <laughs> and on that note, thank you for coming on, Monroe. This was this was Yo, thank great. you for having me, yo. I appreciate good it. Good job wrapping it up, Jared. Yeah, that Jared. Good. good instincts. Boom. And, uh... We're going to have all Monroe's gonna... graphics and stuff. Keep watching. Check out the Patreon. I don't know. Pat's behind and posting stuff, but we're creating. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, man. We Content creators, creating. baby. Alright, bye. It's only, it's only she is.